Hello everyone, welcome to the very first part of this training on rare culture and what people like you who are working in law can do about it. Uh, you will find all of the information about the training itself in the training booklet. Uh, you will also find a lot of additional texts and places to take notes. But let's just get right in with the history part. Um, we are starting with the colonial period, so from the 1500s to the 1800s in New France and Quebec. Um, this video is talking more about women uh, who come from England or France and not indigenous women. Um, you have a text in your training booklet that talks about the relations between men and women in the indigenous communities. So let's dive right in. Um, the very first women who came to New France, who came to Quebec in a more massive way, were the feminine religious communities. So uh, the first ones were the Ursuline uh, and Augustine. They came in about the 1630s, so about a hundred years after Jacques Cartier first came to New France. Uh, they were, of course, in charge of hospital, school, charity, and they had an evangelistic mission, so they would go and try to uh, spread Christianity to indigenous people. Uh, afterwards, the first women who came to help with the colonizing mission in New France are the Fées du Roi. So these, the, the first Fées du Roi arrived around 1663. Um, about 800 total of them will have come to New France. Um, these women were really brought here by uh, the French king to colonize, so to get married and make babies. That was really the goal. These women were mostly uh, orphans or really poor women who didn't really have any other choice in life. Uh, most of them will get married before the age of 20, so pretty young, and they have uh, an average of 89 children per women. So you know, quite a lot. If you think about it, that's a quite a bit of time that you spend being pregnant and having very young child, ch children. Um, let's get more now into the, the different jobs uh, that women have. So for more of the working class people, uh, so either in rural parts of New France or uh, in cities, their first role would be caring. Uh, so, so they would care for children, they would do the cooking, the cleaning, of course, and then they would uh, have a, a garden. They would usually be the ones in charge of the garden and taking care of animals. Um, in rural areas, women would also occasionally help in the field uh, if there were very big seasons. But, you know, these women were not very valued, of course. The Their job was important, but it, was, it wasn't seen as the primary job. Uh, in the family. Afterwards, we have artisans and shopkeepers' wives. These women overall are probably the one who had the most important role in their marriage. Uh, they would help a lot with the business. So they would usually be the ones selling and doing customer service um, at the boutique. Um, if it was an artisan who had apprentices, they would be the one supervising the apprentices and kind of taking care of them and these families usually had a maid so they wouldn't do as much of the cleaning and just domestic work they would be more so in the business of course being uh, not extremely involved but still being there and finally the last uh, if you can say class of women we are going to talk about is women in the elite so these women their first role really was to provide descendants for their rich and important husband. That was really their role. Even though every woman, that was the primary role, for women in the elite, that's very, uh, very important. Um, these women would have many maids or servants. They wouldn't do pretty much anything for domestic work. Um, they would also have kind of a social role, so they would attend different social events to promote their husband's status and get them a great job, essentially. So I think what you can get from this very brief overview of women in the colonial period is that the, the bodies of this women, these women were 
already seen as objects. They were objects meant to uh, get pregnant and have babies. That was really their role. And other than that, they would take care, basically, of these children and this family. Um, so that's it for the first video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you have a text, as I said, in the training booklet about indigenous people's um, relations between men and women. And then you can just get on with the next videos.